everyone and welcome back to my channel delicious veggie my name is anna we're on our way to miami and of course we're going to take you all along with us and if you're new to my channel welcome i focus on content such as beauty i sound how to save money so if you're interested please hit the subscribe button down below also give this video a thumbs up be sure to turn notifications I upload every wednesday and saturday let's just go ahead and head out to miami together thank goodness we're able to check in early into our hotel or we're actually staying at the same hotel as last time it's the courtyard Marriott and downtown Brickell. We just enjoyed the location so much last time. It's near a Whole Foods so we can get some water and some other things if needed. We're just familiar with the area plus the bed was super comfortable. It is 8 a.m. so we didn't sleep the best on the plane because it's super cold and even others are complaining about how cold it was. Once we got here, we took a power nap. So now it is 10 a.m. and we're gonna go grab some breakfast and coffee. And now it's time for a quick room tour. So we have the entrance, the closet, and over here we have the restroom. And then we have this nice big mirror, which I find very nice and convenient to do my makeup. Please excuse the mess. And here we have the king size bed, which we chose this hotel because the bed was so comfortable. Last time it still is, and I love the spot to put all of your chargers to charge everything so it's on both sides then we have a little couch right here then we have a coffee bar area and it comes with a mini fridge which is nice and then there is a microwave a safe and then i love all the counter space and then there is a little desk area for breakfast ernie and i went to this cafe that was a three minute walk from our hotel we ordered a nutella and pistachio latte we did not know it was going to be this extravagant but it was good for breakfast i ordered eggs toast and bacon and ernie ordered a breakfast burger Breakfast was delicious and the service was absolutely amazing. So after breakfast, Ernie and I started walking towards the Brickell City Shopping Mall, which was a 16 minute walk and I absolutely loved this view. And they had a koi pond at the shopping mall, which I thought was pretty cool. We only checked out Sephora and Nike here. And then once we were done looking around, we took the bus to Little Havana. Luckily the buses had air conditioning, which was nice because it was 90 degrees and humid out there. And here's Ernie trying to stay out of the sun and into the shade as much as possible. And this was our bus approaching. If you ever visit Miami, I would highly recommend dedicating a few hours to Little Havana. There is so much to see and do. Last time we visited, it was our first stop. However, it did start to pour rain nonstop and we did not have the chance to revisit during our previous trip. So I'm really glad that the weather was nicer this time around and we got a full redemption and fully explored Little Havana and all that it had to offer. In Little Havana, there are a ton of artwork, sculptures, and murals to see, so I absolutely love taking it all in. Also, you do see some roosters along the way. Our first official stop was at Ball and Chain, which is a restaurant we want to enjoy some cocktails in their outdoor patio. They had fans with misters and umbrellas for shade, which definitely helped with the heat. And all of our cocktails were absolutely delicious and amazing. It was really hard to narrow it down. I totally forgot what I ordered. I do apologize about that, but honestly, you really can't go wrong. And this is just more of their outdoor patio. And if my memory serves correctly, I believe this was the Guava Sangria. It was just so pretty and nice and refreshing. And then we went to the old Havana La Casa del Mojito because we heard those were the best mojitos. Ernie got the original mojito and I got the coconut mojito. We would recommend the coconut mojito. It was so delicious. After we were walking around for a little bit, we stopped at La Colada Gourmet, which is a well-known family Cuban coffee shop where we had an iced coffee and we split a tiramisu. I thought the sign is pretty funny and accurate and during our walk to our next destination for lunch, we saw more roosters. This restaurant was highly recommended for their Cubano sandwiches and they have two Michelin stars. I believe it was affordable. There is going to be a long line though, but it's definitely worth the wait. It was absolutely delicious and a lot of the items are made in-house. And then afterwards, we headed over to the Miami Design District. Last time that we visited Miami, we were only able to drive by because we simply could not find parking. And then when we found some parking, it was like $20 or $30. And you know me, I'm on a budget. This macaroon restaurant is actually a very popular place in Paris to visit, so I thought it was 
interesting to see it in Miami. Afterwards, we took the Miami Mover back to the Brickle City shopping mall for dinner. Also, the Miami Mover is free to take, which is nice. Who doesn't love free? And I absolutely love the views on our ride to the Brickle City shopping mall. We preferred taking the Miami Mover over the bus because one, it is free. Two, it does have air conditioning. So does the bus though, but the part where you wait is shaded and three is a cool way to view the city and to get around quickly. So for dinner, we ate at Tacoology. Honestly, we don't recommend this place. It was just okay. It was just very pricey. We didn't really get full, but we did love the aesthetics and the vibe of this restaurant. After dinner, it was a 16 minute walk back to our hotel and we had to cross the bridge again as we did earlier. And I love the gorgeous views at night. Once we showered and got ready for bed, we watched a couple of episodes of Friends, which was the perfect ending to our first night in Miami. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. We're going to head out to a brunch event in South Beach. We did prioritize sleep this morning, so we're going to True Barista's Coffee. And since we're running low on time, we are going to take an Uber to South Beach because basically we've been relying on walking and public transportation. It's just a lot more affordable. It's pretty easy to commute around here. So let's go get coffee together. Last time we were at True Baristas, Ernie and I ordered the Cinnamon Toast Latte iced coffee, and this time we ordered the Cinnamon Toast Latte Frappuccino. We both preferred the iced coffee version better though, and I also ordered a cookie because brunch wasn't until 11.30 or so, and I usually eat first thing in the morning, otherwise I get a little bit hangry. And at our brunch event, they had unlimited mimosas, and Ernie ordered the acai bowl, and I ordered some French toast. Doing too damn much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he talking about some shipping his booty. Right married You're married to that thing. <laughs> Choices. <laughs> yeah. What? He pays the bills. He pays the bills. Oh, that's a two to one. <laughs> I, I, I see why you married now. On our way to brunch, Ernie noticed that there was a Baked Bear, which is an ice cream shop where we have several locations in California, but they are pretty far from us, so we do not get to go there as much as we'd like and decide to enjoy some ice cream, which is perfect because it was super hot that day. And now we're off to dinner. We have a 40-minute bus ride, but it drops us off back to South Beach. The bus to South Beach is about a 30 to 40 minute bus ride, but hey, it's only $2 or so to get there. And I'll have the name of the restaurant below because I will pronounce it wrong. I ordered the carbonara and Ernie ordered the lasagna. Also, we did a little Jersey Shore tour. So this is a cyber cafe where the infamous note was written. And then apparently this is where they stayed at while they were in Miami. Looks a little different on TV, but still is pretty cool to see. And then also Clevenders was shown on Jersey Shore family vacation. Next, we walked over and checked out Espanola Way, where there are a ton of restaurants and shops to check out. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. We are headed out for an alligator tour per Ernie's request. I had nothing to do with this. I'm just here for support, so wish us luck. We booked our alligator tour through Miami on the water. We had to walk 12 minutes to a nearby hotel to be picked up in a passenger van that held multiple passengers since our hotel wasn't on the designated list. And it was nice. The car had air conditioning. The Everglades was about a 40 minute drive and the tour guide was amazing and had trivia and upbeat music on the way up there. And we only saw a baby alligator, but it was still a cool experience. We saw some other animals as well, such as this iguana. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit scared to do this alligator tour, but Ernie has been wanting to do one for a while now, and I felt safe, and it was a unique experience. The boats did not have AC, but our boat was covered, so it was nice and shaded. And then once we were going back to the van, we saw this peacock on the table. We're done with the alligator tour. I thought we were supposed to end around two or three. It is now noon. How do you like the alligator tour? I mean, it was pretty cool. I just saw a big alligator. Yeah, they weren't really active. It seemed like other tours saw it, but... We missed it. Oh well, something Ernie wanted to do. So now we're gonna go to the Salty Donut to get an iced coffee. We only grabbed like a pastry from Whole Foods this morning, so didn't really eat. And then the place that we wanted to go for dinner is actually closed today. So we're just going to walk around and see what we find.
We went to Salty Donut and ordered a vegan ultimate Oreo cookie donut and Ernie and I shared a brown sugar cold brew coffee. Both were absolutely delicious. Afterwards, we went to Lincoln Road in South Beach to check out their Nike store and grab some lunch. Unfortunately, I didn't get the name. It was just kind of on a whim. We did do some shopping and walking that I didn't get the chance to film because I was trying to conserve my phone battery before we ate dinner at Raising Cane's to save some money. And it was pretty cool because they had a DJ there. Good morning, everyone. We're actually headed out to the airport to catch our flight to New York. So we definitely felt that we got to explore a little bit more and just kind of take our time with things. A couple of things to keep in mind if you're going to visit Miami, you could definitely rely on public transportation because if you were to rent a car, you know, you have to pay for the rental car fee and most hotels charge at least $40 a night plus gas and even if you do find parking here it's one very difficult to find and two very expensive last time when we got a rental car places were like over 20 dollars for parking so i would say it's very walkable or they have the miami mover which is free or you can take the bus they have the go miami transit app it's not the best as 2.8 stars so a lot of times we would buy like a daily pass for like five dollars and it wouldn't show up so we have to buy another one which a lot of people in the review said so we just screenshot it and we like showed the driver all was well also it is very walkable here another thing too food is very expensive so even if a plate's like ten dollars you're like okay you know that's reasonable not bad a lot of places charge 18 to 22 percent service charge and that doesn't include the tax and tip so you're easily going to spend like probably 20 dollars plus depending on what you get so eating out was very expensive here just for ernie and i and sometimes they charge for water too so i think at one place it was like 10 dollars just for water so it was easily like $60, $75 each meal. And sometimes we wouldn't even get like a fountain drink or alcohol. So it just added up very quickly. That's why last night we ate at Raising Cane's. There was no service charge. So that was great. So we just wanted to save a little bit of money. Honestly, I mean, I know New York can be expensive too. Don't get me wrong. But eating out there is like a lot more affordable in our experience. Or we just eat at bagel and like pizza places. To be honest, we're not eating at like these fancy restaurants. But Anywho, we really need to catch our flight, so if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and I'll see you all in New York. Bye, everyone.